Right, so today we're still continuing on expanding brackets, but we didn't really look at a geometrical uh, understanding of it last lesson. We kind of looked at it through the lens of this is what we do with bot mass. So this is what we're going to do with algebra as well to expand the brackets. So I'm going to give you a geometrical understanding and then extend it into a more advanced version of expanding brackets. So the two geometric uh, ways will be exactly the same. So it will hopefully make sense. And then we will get ourselves a rule for expanding the extended version. But I'll get to that in a moment. First, with your rectangle on your page, I'd like you to label it the same as me. We're gonna now, without worrying about expanding brackets or anything like that, I would like you go, to go ahead, please, and determine for me an expression for the area of this rectangle, just this one here. Almost looks like a square, it might not be, just determine an area expression for this guy. Alrighty, lots of pens down, which means we're probably ready. If you're not, just continue on. Uh, we've got length times width for both. They're both rectangles. It doesn't matter which one you put as length, which one you put as width. I'm just going to put them in order of 6 times x, which is simplified to just 6x. Again, don't know what x is, but it doesn't really matter at this stage. The 3 and the 6 for this rectangle, I do know. So it should be 6 times 3, which equals 18 units, whatever they are. Yeah? Now, the purpose of doing this is we now have an expression for the entire area of the entire rectangle. Right? This area plus this area gets me the whole thing. So I'm going to say the area of this total is the 6x plus the 18. That's one way to get the total area of this composite shape. Does anyone feel confident enough to suggest a separate way of calculating or determining the area of the composite shape rather than doing individual and adding? Yep. Perfect. Not only the idea, but also the answer. I love that. First, we'll talk about the idea, then your answer, Hanako. So, the idea is, rather than do two separate areas and add them together, first, we're just going to add the two lengths at the top together to get one big length. Yeah? So, if I add these two lengths together, the whole thing becomes x plus 3. So, that's the x. Plus 3 more for this length. Now, we have a rectangle with a length and a width, or well, width and length, again, it doesn't matter. So therefore, the area is also going to be length times width, which is going to be 6 times, but this time, the width is x plus 3. That's the whole thing. So we're going to write bracket x plus 3, and in algebra, as we know, we don't need to put that multiplication sign. We can just write 6 bracket x plus 3. Now, I hope you can see, and if not, I'm going to use arrows that you'll shortly see, how this is relevant to last lesson. Because these two areas here, the 6 bracket x plus 3 and the 6x plus 18, are exactly the same thing. Okay? This, we can expand by multiplying both inside terms by 6, as we learnt yesterday. But geometrically, what that means is essentially you're just going to do, well, both rectangles here have a height of, or a length of 6. So I'm going to times them both by 6. I'm going to times the x by 6 to get this area. And I'm also going to times the 3 by 6 to get this area. And that's essentially what expanding a brackets is. You're saying, okay, well, these are x and 3 are just two different lengths of a rectangle, or two different widths, sorry. And 6 out the front is the height for both of them. So I'm going to multiply both of them to get the total area inside. Okay, which is why it's so important to multiply both, not just one of them. Right? If I expanded, and I'll get rid of this, but if I expanded incorrectly 6 lots of x plus 3 by going 6x plus 3, 
right? That's like me calculating the area of this shape. 6x. We're not calculating the area of saucepans. We're calculating the area of rectangles. Really? No laughs at all. Does that look like a saucepan? <laughs> Thank you. All right, fine. Tough crowd. So, the concept we're looking at today geometrically is when you've got a bracket, think of it as two different widths of the same rectangle, and you're just distributing the length or the height of the rectangle to the two widths. 